Hi friends! So I just wanted to send out a quick message of encouragement to all of you. Uh, I just got notified that my movie Getting Him Back was uh, accepted at another film festival and this time it is in Peru. It's the Cusco International Cinema Festival and it will be from the 1st to the 4th of October this year so it's like quite a yeah, late notice, um, short notice. Um, we had that with a couple of festivals now. It's a bit sad because um, I was actually planning on, you know, attending some of them, but with so short notice, it's always like, yeah, a bit difficult. Anyhow, um, I think this is maybe about the 40th festival by now. Um, many of them have been online. Some of them have been festivals that take place more often than once per year. Some take place every two months or twice a year or so. This one only takes place once per year. And um, yeah, Getting Him Back has been running now basically all over the world. Um, just the other month it has been running in Croatia, actually a couple of times. And we've been running in Panama and, you know, the US, obviously, um, in Japan. Um, oh, sorry about that. That was Andy coming home. Uh, anyway, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, basically, we've been running all over the world now, I think on every continent by now. And I'm so happy about that. Because when I made this movie, and it's been a couple of years since we filmed, um... That was actually my dream, that, you know, my film will be seen all over the world by different people, by different nationalities, people of different nationalities and different cultural backgrounds. And um, yeah, and then, you know, when we had the movie ready and we were ready to go, there was COVID and then it was really difficult. In the first year, actually, 2020, when we tried to get onto festivals, there weren't many um, that chose us. And you know, we were a bit frustrated and I guess what I'm trying to say is, you know, don't give up because um, although I probably won't be going to Peru this time, <laughs> which is sad because I always wanted to go there anyhow, um, still, you know, it's a good, it's a good feeling to know that your movie is, is seen by, by peoples in movies all over the world um, in cinemas and, you know, also online still it's seen by many people, by, by cinema lovers. And obviously, I mean, being chosen under so many films that are sent to festivals all over the world, that's that's a great uh, achievement and makes me very, very happy. And I always had like this vision, you know, not to make a movie for myself or, you know, just drop it on YouTube, but but that the movie will be actually screened in cinemas. So just thinking about that makes me really happy and, yeah, a bit proud <laughs> that we didn't give up. And um, obviously I couldn't have done it without Andy because he helped me so much with the festivals. I mean, he did the main work on that, like probably 80%, if not 90 And it's a lot of work. People that don't uh, make movies, you know, you, you cannot imagine how much work it is. I mean, making the movie is one thing, but then getting it to, to run on festivals, that's a whole, whole uh, other job. Um, and I had rough, rough times, especially again the last weeks <laughs> um, with some, some personal stuff going on and some family stuff going on. And um, yeah, so... You know, it might be a small thing for some people and obviously it's not like, it's not the Berlinale or Cannes, but I don't really care at this point because what I really care about is that people recognize my work and, and the love and the time and the effort and everything that I put into it. And it's a lot. Um, so... If you have something that, that you're doing and that you believe that is your thing, then, you know, just keep keep going, keep doing it. Um, I have two other movies that we just completed. Um, and obviously we, we will be trying to get them into festivals. And then I'll, I'm just currently now cutting Ben. Um, there's a teaser on, on my YouTube channel. Um, and I hope I'll be finishing this 
very soon <laughs> and get that into festivals too. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see what, what comes. So, you know, keep doing what you love and don't, don't let others um, get you down. Because, you know, when I got rejected by a couple of festivals, especially like the first ones, it really got me sad. And I really didn't get the support that I was hoping for from my hometown. <laughs> um, so, but, um, you know, put your attention on those people that do support you and that do, you know, recognize your work and that do think that what you do is um, doesn't matter. Yeah. And try to don't pay so much attention to those naysayers and um, people that just, you know, put you down because it's it's not getting you anywhere. So, yeah, that's it. That's what I was <laughs> going to say. Um, I hope you like my hat. I'm going to use this on another um, Leaving My Hat On uh, episode soon. And yeah, as always, I'm all pink. Like the wall is pink, the shirt is pink, the hat is pink, everything is pink. Because pink makes me happy. So I wish you a lovely evening and a lovely week. And um, as always, stay healthy and, um, you know, love yourself and follow your dreams. Um, it's the Cusco Underground Film Festival. No. <laughs>